Good morning, folks. 7.49 a.m. on the 9th of February over here in England. And I'm made aware of a earthquake today over in New Zealand. Over on, the, on the South Island, excuse me. It's been labeled as strong 5.7. I know some people that are over there have been wondering about what the conditions were for chemtrails and EMF waves and stuff so I had a good look at it and yeah I definitely seen beaming going on right around the time of the event I'm not just talking these small Nexrad ones I'm talking some stuff a bit larger and I'm gonna let you see it I'm gonna see down here when the feed begins you're gonna see an echo come from here watch see it well that wave is gonna come over some of it's gonna split as it comes through the passes here over Tasmania and you're gonna see it, the moisture womp the south here. Yeah, boom, it hits that. The, the beaming is gonna happen here, right near the end of the feed. And this is kinda close to the time that, that uh, earthquake. And from the beam getting larger as it comes out, it's something that's coming from north of the North Island. And it's, if you look at the angle of it, it's pretty much coming like that. It's can't make that up. I'm just looking at it. It's strange. Very strange anomaly. How suddenly moisture just leaves somewhere. Usually it's through... It's vaporization. Vaporization through a microwave is kind of a common thing that we know of. So I wanted you to see that. And if you watch this again, you have, you have this on the 7th. Right at the end of the day. And over it comes. It takes, I guess, it undulates things because it doesn't just come across like a piece of paper. It's thin. It, it, it spreads out. It goes into the earth. It goes into the atmosphere. It goes straight out. And it's going to cause the plates to vibrate. Let's see if I pop my screen with that. Now let me have, let you have a look at this real quick. I'm not going to play games about it. Here's the. This is New Zealand. This is my morning feed from the ninth in the NASA world view. As you can see. There's a lot of chemtrails about, especially over near Auckland. And you see very heavy frequency. It's evidenced in in these clouds here. You see it. And you can also see how there's enough to generate Tesla waves out of this chemtrail that's coming here. Because you can see these little waves here are the Tesla waves, and that's the main chemtrail. So you see there's definitely very, very high frequency going on all the way up as I'm going north. And you can see one of those squared out areas, it usually just shows you they've some kind of a scalar square or something that's been popped from the atmosphere from a standard type heart display array, excuse me here's um, the area where the earthquake occurred right in here you know, you could see the evidence of, of well, a lot of, get a lot of funny eddies through the Cook Straits here, so I can't not say that's not natural, but I could see the frequency lines here. You can see them quite evident. You know, that's that's EMF frequency signature in the atmosphere. It doesn't have to have a chemtrail to come over your house to make those things either, because there's just enough particulates floating around. Have a good look over here. Look at this mess. This is horrible. Auckland's up here. Uh, they call it the Bay of Plenty. Well, there's plenty here, that's for sure. Look at that. That's not naturally occurring, folks. It shouldn't be like that. You're breathing it. God only knows what's falling out out of that. That is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. And that's not a naturally occurring uh, cloud there either. And look at that. It's just terrible these poor people but they have had a bad earthquake there and I sure hope everybody was all right I've been watching this area now pretty steady now for the last few weeks and just remember you got your plates are going to be moving from this way to this way not this way to this way so if I can zoom back and get you a little more map we had an earthquake over here See that area there so it's moved that way and then it shoots pressure along this way. It has nowhere else the way it goes. That's just how 
it works and whether the science community wants to admit it or not I don't care Dutch sense clearly pointed that out over the last few years and to him I will absolutely give credit for showing up that man knows his stuff here you go well, that's that's their condition and that's the EMF conditions at the time you had a whomping wave come out of here transfers wave power over because it will some will go under some will go above some will go side to side He's been, he definitely had a wave pop from up here yeah which would have really ch almost concentrated its energy in here because you'll get echoes in through the cook straight so it's I definitely could see how there was amplitude of EMF in this, definitely. Would not have helped these poor folks. But anyways, that's that's the condition. You know, peace.